In the Nuke 11.2 release, we have continued to build on the improvements laid out in Nuke 11. Smart vectors have become a key new toolset for artists' workflows around the world, and we have continued to build upon past improvements with this update. To help you iterate and get up and running faster, smart vectors can now be generated live within your script using the power of your GPU, allowing you to immediately see the resulting output and adjust any settings accordingly for a fast and iterative workflow. We've also included a new map input option to the smart vector node, so you can now tell the smart vectors to not let any of the motion vectors within the mask influence the warp. This helps to solve any shot whereby the motion of certain objects in the scene are inadvertently influencing your warp, as you can now simply map them out for a much more accurate warp solution. We've updated the tab menu to now support substring search matching, so you can type any part of a node's name to surface it. You can also search based on letter capitalization or specific menu locations, and when combined with the new weighting and favorite system, you can gain access to all manner of nodes with minimal input. With deep compositing becoming more prevalent in visual effects workflows around the globe, we introduced an improved API for deep compositing with better memory handling in order to improve performance for processing heavy nodes. This means working in Nuke with deep nodes is one and a half times faster, and any custom deep nodes rewritten with the new API will also see this performance gain. We have continued our support for ARRI and RED files and have made sure to update the SDKs of both these file formats to the latest versions so that you can continue working with the files you need. The new editing mode is an artist focused feature to help make your interactions with Nuke even faster and more intuitive. Now when creating groups or gizmos, instead of trying to navigate through the manage user knobs panel to add knobs, you can simply turn on editing mode and drag and drop the knob you want either from a pre-existing node or create a custom knob from the new editing toolbar. This drag and drop functionality also extends to node tabs giving you complete control over your custom nodes and making workflows with gizmos, groups and live groups even faster. You also have access to all the same customization fields such as knob label or name fields by simply clicking the new dot icon that appears next to the knob's name in editing mode, keeping all the information you need access to right at your fingertips. With Nuke 11.2, we've extended the localization API to give you even more Python callbacks. This really enables you to tailor Nuke's localization system to your needs and allows you to create custom rules for when you want localization to occur. For artists working in Nuke Studio, we've also focused on adding some great features to help you with your day-to-day -day interaction with the tool. The new preference menu, called Project Items, allows you to customize the colors across your bins and timelines in Studio. Within these preferences, you can modify the colors of text, bins, sequences, or even customize the color of specific file types. This really helps you to manage complex timelines by highlighting the clips and footage most important for you at any given moment in time. We've also added a colors column to the spreadsheet view to help further your management options. And when this feature is combined with Nuke Studio's Python API, you can really customize how you manage your projects with colors inside of Studio. We've included a range of new poster frame options for your project bin clips, allowing you to customize what image is displayed. With the ability to set relative or absolute values, you can quickly select all of your clips with black handles and set the poster frame to a frame after those handles for a more meaningful image. The search bar in Nuke Studio has also seen a lot of improvements to ensure you can always find the clips you are looking for. With the ability to search for the entire string using the all flag, or to search for multiple string elements with the any flag, you can get to the files you need much faster. We've also included the option to search metadata to give you even more control. We hope you enjoy the 11.2 release with its artist-friendly tools and performance improvements.